Yeah, it's recording. Okay. Um, yeah, a, a lot of people that can't make it to the camps, they only see it on videos. So for a promoter to approach me like, can you come here mm -hmm. and teach the kids out in Brazil, mm -hmm. Italy, wherever? Sure, I think it's, 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 it's good because now the kids out there will be exposed to what I'm teaching. Mm -hmm. So from there, they can learn from there and then they just keep building and building mm -hmm. and spreading and spreading. Mm -hmm. My first year at SDK was like, I asked them, how did you find out about me? Mm -hmm. Oh, we watch your YouTube videos. Mm -hmm. And I had a couple of students that learned from Czech Republic, took my class, learned, came back, and asked me, is it cool for us to teach what you do? Sure, spread it, because I'm all about spreading. Why would I want to hold it in when the whole world should have a piece of this? Yeah. So it, it, it's good. So when I look at these promoters and they come to me, sure, I, I'll be glad. Here's my email. Give me your email. Mm -hmm. Let's work it out. Mm -hmm. So now they'll go back. They they might post up. Jeff Selby's coming to you. And just out of the curiosity out of the dancers, they'll be like, oh, New Style Hustle, what is that? Yeah, yeah. Let me go take this class. They'll come. They'll like it. Oh, I love this dance. And they'll keep going with it. Yeah. So, I was just asking because um, I see that also what you say. But on the other hand, when they go around and they see, like, let's take the person who has the most people in the class, it's obviously a business thing. Yeah. And it feeds what we have, I think, it feeds a little bit what we have before, namely that it stays superficial. You see what I'm trying to mm. say? Just, I'm just like hypothesis, if it's really like this, you feel like this. I mean, I see that it's important that it's exposed to a lot of people. I mean, we have the same, not everyone can travel that much. True. So it's best to like get to people to your place. But um, if it's such a mass appeal, just asking myself, you don't feel like just like it's superficial. Um, I look at it this see? way. <laughs> it's not. It's not just in dance. It's in any type of business right. you do. Clothing, records, it's, it's everything. It's not just the dance. So, it's ongoing. That I, I believe that's something that's never going to go away because it's about business and, the, and it's about making money. Like when, when hip hop first came out, you know, it was all about just the fun of it, the dance of it, and then corporate got involved and it became a big business. It got bigger. Corporate got involved with it. Because we used to just do that on the streets. Dancing, the clothing. That was just natural for us. Now, I was in SDK and I see all these young kids with the hip hop gear, with the Brooklyn cap and the, the Adidas. For us, back then, that was just a regular, everyday clothing. Just just putting on clothes. Because today, they're like, oh, it's a style now. So when Corporate got involved, it made it, made it that way. So like right now, the dance, the promoters, they'll come and see, okay, yeah, we need you. We can make some money, plus these kids that have a little knowledge of this. So it's it's hard to judge that because I look at it like it's not going to stop. Mm -hmm. It's just going to keep going and going and going. Good. Cool.